Good morning, everybody. Now we are going to see present perfect and simple past tense. Look at the pictures. In the first one, we can see that Richard is looking for his keys. So, he can't find them. He has lost his keys. Look at the second picture. Now, at the moment, Richard has found his keys. We can make now sentences like, Has he lost his keys? No, because he has found them. Did he lost his keys? Yes, he did. He lost his keys is a past simple tense. But now he has found them is present perfect tense. Let's see more examples. Let's see some affirmative statements, present perfect and simple past tense. We have been to Ireland. We went to Ireland last year. They've met twice this month. They met twice last month. They have eaten Thai food. They ate Thai food last night. Now let's see some negative statements. Present perfect and simple past tense. We haven't been to Ireland. Or we can say, we have never been to Ireland. We didn't go to Ireland last year. They haven't met this month. They didn't meet twice last month. They haven't eaten Thai food. They didn't eat Thai food last night. Here we have just no question, present perfect, simple past tense. Has he owned it for long? Did he own it for long? Have they met this month? Did they meet last month? Now WH questions, present perfect, simple past tense. How long has he owned it? How long did he own it? When have they met this month? When did they meet last month? Now let's continue with explanation. Number one, the present perfect is used to talk about things that started in the past, continue up to the present and may continue into the future. Look at this graphic. Have lived. For example, They have lived apart for the past three years. It means they started living apart three years ago and they are still living apart. The simple past tense is used to talk about things that happened in the past and have no connection to the present. Look at the graphic. Lived. Three points in the past. For example, They lived apart for three years. It means that they lived apart until 2000. Now they no longer live apart. The present perfect is used to talk about things that happened at an unspecified time in the past. Look at the graphic. Have decided. Example. They have decided to travel back and forth. Here, we don't know exactly when they decided, or the time is not important in this sentence. Now, the simple past tense is used to talk about things that happened at a specific past time. The time is often stated. Look at the graphic lived 1998 example they lived apart in 1998 here we know when they lived apart and we can state the exact time the present perfect is used to talk about things that have happened in a period of time that is not finished such as today this month this year for example I've had three cups of coffee this morning. It means it's still this morning, 
I might have more. But the simple past tense is used to talk about things that happened in that period of time that is finished, such as yesterday, last month, last year, this morning when it is after 12 p.m. For example, I had three cups of coffee yesterday. Yesterday is finished. I had three cups of coffee this morning. Now it's 2 p.m. This morning is finished. Okay, let's practice. Choose the correct option. The candidate. Mm, many voters when she ran for governor last year. Yes, D is the correct option, impressed. The candidate impressed many voters when she ran for governor last year. Last year is the sign of the simple past tense. Next, choose the correct option. Yesterday you, mm, you would like to learn how to knit a sweater. Yes, D is the correct option. Yesterday, you said you would like to learn how to knit a sweater. In this sentence, yesterday is the sign of simple past tense. The last one. Choose the correct option. I, mm, to learn French. Yes, B is the correct option. I have decided to learn French. We use the present perfect because I don't know exactly here when I decided it or the time is not important. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.